Okay, and you're set to go. So you can go debug, start debugging, or you can just simply press F5. And when you do, the app comes up, and then you get to explore the app. So what we have here is that we got the five currencies. You can select a currency, and this gives us the underlying price. Now, I would like to mention that all these are extendable. That means that we can add more currencies as we go forward. Uh, below the currency, you get a drop-down box for all the stochastic processors, the price paths that you want to use to price the options. So right now, we've got Geometric, Brownian, CR, Heston, Sabre, and Sabre. If you click on any one of them, it will automatically update the graph, drawing 100 instances of the stochastic process. This is the simulator. Go to Geometric, gives you the Geometric Brown Motion. Heston gives you the Heston model. Also, when you select a model, you get the various parameters where you can actually change the parameters. So if I want to change the standard deviation from 0 0.002, 0 0.06, I do that, I will see this parameters updated, click on it, and then it will redraw the stochastic process with the updated parameters. Now, strike prices. From the underlying, what we have is that we will increase and decrease at a rate of 0 0.01 to get the various strikes. We start at the underlying 1.25, so we'll have the strike of 1.26, 1.24, and essentially these are the strike prices of which we'll calculate the options value for. Where the options values are is in the next tab, which is the graph, which is what we have over here, where blue is the values of the call options, and purple is the value of the put options. And on the x-axis, you will see the various strikes where you can read off the option value. So at the money 1.25, the put options are just slightly above 0 0.02, and the call options are slightly under 0 0.04. Now, stylistic elements, they will be improved in the future where if you want to display values, then they will off there. And then if you want to read the option values for other strikes, just read off from the x-axis over here. That is where we are at the moment. Uh, we should have an update soon on the first generation exotics and then when we move on to Thursday, one with the volatility surfaces. I believe that that should be in order. Thank you and have a good afternoon.